Tonight on your side, continuing coverage. Now, the victim in last year's Salarita High School locker room assault now faces assault charges of his own. According to the March 2014 indictment, the charges are connected to incidents before and after the January 2013 assault. Once a victim, now an alleged attacker. According to the Pinal County Attorney's Office, the victim in the January 2013 Salarita High School boys' locker room assault is facing assault charges of his own. The student, whose name is not being released because he is a minor, faces five counts of assault and two counts of indecent exposure. One of the assault charges predates the January 2013 incident where, according to police reports, a group of Salarita High School wrestlers attacked the then freshman inside the school's locker room. Police described the incident as hazing and bullying. The accounts graphic and sexual in nature. This is this is somewhat appalling, frankly. Defense attorney Douglas Taylor represented Blake Holler, one of the seven wrestlers charged last year. Uh, and now, lo and behold, after everything's said and done, now he's being prosecuted. Well, not only does this young man have very unclean hands, in the sense of that, uh, you know. He's trying to get other people prosecuted for stuff he's doing himself, but it also sheds light on his lack of credibility. Expelled from school, Collar has since pleaded guilty to a Class 3 misdemeanor assault charge as part of a plea agreement. The remaining six students have also been sentenced. I, I wish things had gone differently with this case, and I wish I knew then what I know now. The Pinal County Attorney's Office is prosecuting the case because of a, quote, conflict of interest at the Pima County Attorney's Office. We tried to contact the defense attorney for the student at the center of these new charges. They did not return our call.